Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is a wonderful little story called Wish. Do you have any wishes that you want to make? Well, let's follow our friend Rabbit and find out what he wishes for. All right, here we go. Once every year, wishes take flight, filled with hope and twinkling light. They dance in the air with a swirl and a swish. You have to be lucky to be chosen by a wish. Rabbit was amazed as wishes danced and rose. Then all of a sudden, one landed on his nose. Oh, there it is. Two more wishes fell at his feet. Now he had three. Oh, what a treat. Rabbit had never caught a wish before. He could not decide what to wish for. So off Rabbit went with a hop and a swish to ask his friends what to do with a wish. <laughs> Rabbit asked Mouse, What would you wish for? His friend climbed up from the woodland floor. The world is big and I feel so small. I wish I could fly and see it all. Ooh, that's a really good wish. Rabbit looked to the sky. What would they see? And he thought to himself, Is this wish for me? Hmm. So, off Rabbit went with a hop and a swish to ask his friends what to do with a wish. <laughs> there he goes. Rabbit asked Fox, What would you wish for? Wondering what his friend had in store. Hmm, I wish I could write stories everyone would admire. Books of knowledge and hope and power to inspire. Ooh, that's a good wish too. Rabbit imagined Fox's stories, how exciting they would be, and he thought to himself, Is this wish for me? Hmm. So off Rabbit went with a hop and a swish to ask his friends what to do with a wish. Rabbit asked Bear, What would you wish for? As Bear watched the waves roll up the seashore, Hmm. I have traveled over the mountains and climbed every rock and tree, but I wish I had a boat to explore the open sea. Ooh, that's a good wish too. Rabbit wondered about the rowing and how strong Bear must be, and he thought to himself, Is this wish for me? Hmm. And now, still never having made a wish before, he finally asked himself, What should I wish for? Hmm, what do you think? What do you think he's going to wish for? I wish for the small to feel uplifted and tall. I wish for inspiration to wash over us all. I wish for a world filled with spirit and adventure that we can enjoy and live in together. As those are some really nice wishes, huh? So, Rabbit granted his friend's wishes. One, two, and three. No. Then he suddenly realized, There are none left for me. Oh, poor Rabbit. Oh, thank you, Rabbit, for being so kind. We have something to say, if you don't mind. By noticing me, you helped me feel tall, treating me as your equal, even though I am small. So, if you find yourself lost, forgotten, or alone, just look to the sky, and I will guide you home. Thanks to you, I am busy writing, creating amazing stories so wonderfully exciting. I have been inspired by your selfless deed. Please. Choose a story you wish me to read. <laughs> I finally have a boat with which I can explore over the horizon beyond the sandy shore. But before I go, there is something you should see. If you have a moment, please 
come with me. Bear asked Rabbit to close his eyes as he had a special surprise. Ooh, what do you think it could be? Wow, it's never too late to go on an adventure. Thanks to you, little rabbit, we can all go together. The end. Wow, that was an awesome story. What do you think, boys and girls? Well, thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Make sure you hit the big red subscribe button on our main page and don't forget to check out all of our other great stories. See you next time.